Hello Louisiana Bee Reviews, we're doing another duo review. We're doing Alley Oop Dunkle. This is another gift from the Whiskey Scout. I did a solo review, but you've never had this. Another one from Free State Brewing in Lawrence, Kansas. Yeah. Don't know the ABV, don't know the IBM. Don't know nothing other than it's, than it's a play on basketball. Okay. Right, the Alley Oop. Right. We're gonna get a crack to seven. We've all had Dunkles before. Dark beers. They're usually uh, one of the go-tos around our area is uh, Warsteiner. Which is freely and yearly available and very affordable price, might I add, for an import. You usually get that yeah. for $7.99. Six pack. Okay, so it's a caramel color. Uh, I just. In case you might look at the label. Yeah, well, I'll if rinse them out later. If it can be seen. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a caramel you color. You see the neck. Not really your classic dunkle color. Dunkle. Yeah, usually more brown. This is caramel. Yeah, to me, dunkle's almost the color of Coca-Cola or Pepsi-Cola. Like a Modelo Negra. It's darker. Perhaps, yeah. A little darker than that. And a, 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 a color is this, like an ivory head. Yeah, ivory this, is, this is kind of like a, like a, kind of a dark amber. Yeah, I say, that's why I said caramel. Like like caramel candy. Like the Hershey's caramel squares. Makes me want to go get some of those. It's got a caramel aroma. Hmm. A dunkle has a caramel aroma. No, but this one does. And it kind of does. Okay. I'm getting a little tea off of it too. It's clouds. Slight tea. Well, one good thing about the clouds is you don't have to be out here getting sunburnt, huh? Yeah, you can still get sunburnt. Like yesterday. But it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't. Well, and I had a long sleeve fishing shirt on. It's still burnt. All right, so let's go ahead and taste this. Cheers. It doesn't taste like a dog. No. Free State, they got some strange beers. Um, they're not the only company that where all their beers taste like not the right, they don't match the style. I'm just, I'm, I'm just curious, how could they put out beers and they say they're one thing, but you buy them anticipating at least it to taste and look like the style, and you it get something like an that amber lager doesn't like, look like the style. There's a slight teeniness going on with it. There's no ABV, no IBU. I think the website gives IBUs, but hold on, I'm smelling something strange. Something unbeer. Dude, I'm I'm smelling something that's like looks like a garlic cheese or something in this. <laughs> it's got a good date on it. Um, smell it again. What is that? Is that something from the yeast strain? Uh, it's not garlic cheese. It's like a like a bread crust. Oh, I'm getting something that's. Are they are cutting that grass. Something kind of like. Like a green onion? I don't know. Yeah. I used to get that in some of those parish beers we were drinking. Specifically, uh, sometimes if you got like, like a really jacked up Ambi that had that smell to it. I was about to say, like Ambi? Yeah. Like Ambi, yeah. I just can't pitch a whisk. Maybe it is the green onion, but it's almost like something. Shallot, shallots. It's a, yeah, medium body, dry finish, just like this lager. Now the lager was more like a crackery, I said like a Carlsberg. Oh, now we got the, uh, is that the Canadian And again, the conductor in love with the horn. All right, buddy, yeah, 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 we know you're here. That's the Kansas City Southern coming, going westbound, I think. Um, uh, we'll well, get it again. I'm not too sure about this thing. I wasn't too sure about it when I did the solo review. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, this is not a dunk. Uh, it's got some some strangeness going on with it. So, I'm not saying it's bad, but yeah, it doesn't have a bad taste. Holy cow! I mean, why? How could you 
put something out that's got tea qualities and there's some kind of a green onion flavor going on with it on the, on the nose and on the palate. And that caramel is coming through too, just like you said. This is far from a dunkel. You know, we didn't name it. Y'all named it. Howdy who? You could have called it anything else. You could have called it caramel beer with onions in it. I was going to say it was like a beat of amber, but it isn't really. It's kind of strange. It's like but that. You know, I mean, the, the the appearance is is really really good. It's it's almost like a Vienna style if you look at it, where it's got the light bubbles uh, like in Victoria. it. Victoria. Yeah. Hard to beat Victoria. Time for a revisit of Victoria, I do believe. I want to get one of those quart bottles of Victoria. Oh, you can get it at a good price too. I think it's like fifteen fifty, twelve pack. Mm -hmm. I was talking about getting one of those big quart bottles, you know. You gotta drink the whole thing. You get twelve. Well, if we could get twelve it. ounces. You can just you know share twelve ounces. We could do a do a review of the court. So I'm, go, I'm gonna have to drink sixteen ounces of beer. <laughs> yeah, We're right. That's a real chore. All right, I got a beer in the fridge that if you really want to feel bad the next day, I'll let you drink the whole oh, oh, the whole oh, can. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, you know I felt me so bad. And those things. Oh. I tell you, time and time again, I do those beers. But I didn't want to listen. This one feels he's got a listen. public service to you. Right, I didn't want to listen. I was hard-headed. Like, I know everything. I, I'm so smart. Yeah, right. I was so sick. The viewing audience and the world at large that watches these videos. Did it to myself. This one has got to do those things that I won't even touch. Because oh, I know better. That was a tragedy, man. All right, anyway. But it's, hey, well, I should have known. But I just have a, some stupidity in me. To obviously um this is kind of like the last one kind of okay but maybe not as good honestly it's a C beer I'm gonna say it's a B minus 81 out of 100 you're saying like a 78 yeah something like that a C plus and I'm saying a B minus no it's just a C beer oh 75. like a 75 oh man sorry free state we don't make the product we're just reviewing it you know what I mean I think overall is a beer. It's good, but why are you giving them the C, <laughs> dudes? You call it a dunkle, but it's not a dunkle. Oh, you got a style issue with it. Well, that's you know, it's like these black IPAs going around. Everybody's all over. Oh, it's a black IPA. You know what is a black IPA? I was trying to talk to him about folk, about the mamas and the papas, and he's like, oh, I'm not into like folk music type stuff. It's like, oh wow, okay. Anyway, <laughs> hey, you gotta um, have your limits. I was kind of, kind of hurt. But anyway, um, <laughs> so two kind of, mm, mm -hmm. we tried it, but anyway, we were, <clears throat> thanks Whiskey Scout. Sorry yeah. for the low score. We can't help that. We gotta be honest. Okay, so anyway, uh, if we're gonna end this by saying, if you go to Kansas, go tour the. Uh, Free State Brewery, which I plan to do if I ever go to Lawrence, Kansas, and the first thing I'm going to ask them is, uh, what, what do you consider a dunkle now? <laughs> Bring the worst down with you and say this is a dunkle.